Hello, this is Kevin with Coinry. Today we're going to be making a 1944 constitutional silver quarter into a size six and a half ring. Okay. Before we get started, I want you to know I'm having a sale on my Etsy site. If you go to Coin Rings by Kev and enter in Coinry 10, you get 10% off. I'll also put a link in the first comment. Okay. So let's get started on this ring. I'm going to start by punching a half inch hole into the coin. Washington, the eagle on the back. We're going to deburr that hole in the middle. You got to deburr it just to make sure when you start folding it doesn't crack. Let's also sand that inside edge down. I just want to be nice and sure. 80 year old coin, so we want to make sure we don't let it go to waste. Okay, before we start folding, we're going to anneal to make the metal softer. Come over here to our doming block. We'll start folding with the ball bearing. Let's sand that edge down again just to make sure. Let's anneal one more time. All right, now we're gonna go and use a 17 degree die to continue folding. If you saw my last video, you can see that with these Washington quarters, it tends to saddle a little bit. This one is quite a bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a Swedish die push rod and force it to meet the, force this cone or this coin to match the die without the cone. I'm gonna make sure this is nice and centered when we do this. That ought to do it. So now we're nice and straight. Okay. Let's kneel again and then we'll start opening the coin, the coin up. Come over here to our ring stretcher. Let's get a little better view there. So we're already at a five and a half or so, almost a six. So 
we're gonna try and get this to match the we're gonna get this to match the stretcher and then we'll reduce it down. Won't have to go very far with this one. About an eight. That should be good. So let's anneal again and then we'll start reducing the size. Start reducing it down. Let's go and use a little bit of candle wax. Reduce the friction. And then we'll use these little reduction dies down here. Starting to get reduced pretty well. Let's see where we're at. About a six and a half. So we're going to undersize it so we can force that reeded edge in so we can take off this metal, the silver on the, on the inside to make it more comfortable. That's good. Let's go ahead and trim off that inside edge. So for you ring makers out there, I picked up this tool and this is a, this is a finger saver. Usually you're holding on to it like this and your fingers cramp up, but this thing holds on really well. You have to hold on to it pretty tight and you have to resize it after you're done, but sure helps hold on to this ring. I would definitely recommend it. Just about there. Fine tune it just a little bit. Let's see where we're at. We're gonna have to resize it. Let's go ahead and anneal and then we'll get it to the final size. First, let's go ahead and sand that inside edge down. Or we just Hard it out. Okay. Now we'll anneal. Okay, so now we're just going to straighten it out. Open up just a little bit, reduce it a little bit, and then we should be done. down here. We're going to have to reduce it just a bit. Let's go with that one. Right there to six and a half. Let's true up the other side. Looking pretty good. All right, so this customer would like it to be nice and shiny, so we're gonna heat it up, dip it in some pickle, and shine it up.
it does put a little matte finish on it when you stick it in the pickle, getting rid of all those contaminants. So now we'll sand this down with some 4 out steel wool and we'll call it good. Okay, so that's what we have there. It's 1944. There's the Liberty there, 1944, 90% silver quarter ring. Again, if you're looking for buying a ring for Christmas or so, you can visit my Etsy site, Enter in Coinry 10. I'll also have a link in the description to the link for that. So, anyway, thank you for watching my video. See you next time.